bad habits are really hard to break. And good ones, once established, can be really, really powerful in moving us in a brand new direction. And so we're gonna be talking about habits. And I get this whole idea from Atomic Habits from James Clear. I highly recommend his newsletter, Instagram, everything. He's got some really, really good ideas. And we wanna, I wanna just start off by reminding everybody that it's the small daily habits done consistently over time that yields the biggest results. It's not willpower, it's because that's finite. Willpower runs out and we get food decision fatigue, we get exercise fatigue, and it's, um, maybe this is another subject, but it's really doing the mundane things really, really well and getting used to them and maybe even fi finding some beauty in the mundane, right? So anyway, I, I think I got a little sidetracked, but the whole idea here is that we wanna talk about identity. So the first thing, the first exercise that we did in the class the other day was writing down all of the identities that we have. I am a woman, I am uh, over 50, I'm a sister, I'm a daughter, I'm a wife, I'm a rescue animal, I'm a nature lover. Um, I'm, you know, I'm a strong woman, I'm an athlete, I'm a writer, I am a health coach, I'm an advocate for healthy living, I'm also bratty, I'm also a little bit, um, you know, lazy sometimes, I don't like cleaning out the litter, you know, and I complain too much, those are identities, there are things that I do like drinking too much coffee is an identity, right, all these things. And so I want to share a story about a client who, when we really unpacked what her true identity was, what was underlying, what the thing that was buried deep in her subconscious was that she was a fat person. That was her identity because she was told she was fat all growing up. Her grandmother told her, I mean, really deep-seated, very um, um, destructive behaviors from family members that had her believe that she was a fat person, and therefore she had fat behaviors. Well, if a fat person, you know, eats doodles or whatever they're called, um, then then that's what I do, and it is it is um, a challenge to unweave that really tight tight braid that that has on us and so when i found this from james clear this whole idea, idea about switching around our identity and having having our identity be what drives us really really was powerful and so i'm going to take his ideas i'm going to literally regurgitate ideas from him and um, share it with you. So the first thing I want to do is I want you to draw three concentric circles on a piece of paper. So it's like a target, right? And there are three circles, the middle circle, then the, then the center circle, and then the outside circle. And the middle circle uh, is identity. Okay, that just label it identity. The next one is processes. Um, and then the outer layer is outcomes. And so when we're talking about outcomes, we want to, we're, we're very specifically talking about, you know, what you end up getting, you know, you, you, you uh, are writing your book, you are losing weight, you are a certain amount of pounds, um, you're an athlete and you win a medal or, or uh, a, a, a grand prize of some sort. And when we're talking about outcomes, we're really looking at these are result, the results that we're looking for, right? So how do we change the results? In the center circle, these are the processes. Processes are things that we do. It's our algorithms. It, it's the if then, and I really want to tie if then into another video because that is super powerful as well. But this is what we do on a regular basis. This is our gym routine, our morning routine, our evening routines. These are the routines around birthdays and holidays, around um, uh, things like um, uh, my kitchen cleanup, <laughs> for example, decluttering, um, being able to purge things, um, 
this is also mindset practice, like your morning meditation and that sort of thing. So these are the systems that we have, our daily systems and habits. And the center circle is the identity. And identity is about what you believe. It's the deepest la layer. It's your soul layer, right? This is um, about your world view about everything. This is, uh, you know, speaking of worldviews, we could talk about politics or religion. These are other identities that we have. These are also judgments about yourself and other people as well. And these are our beliefs and assumptions and um, even our biases. And so um, when we identify as a certain person, our habits often feed that identity, right? So if I'm looking to be a very strong woman, an athletic woman, if I'm looking to be a writer, what does an athletic woman do? What does a strong woman do? What does a writer do? They write, they practice, they go run in the woods like I did this morning and it was amazing. Uh, it was a trail run. So every layer of these is important, but what our society traditionally does and how we tend to build habits is we go outside in. We tend to focus on the goals first and say, if only I would get into that goal, if I, if I could only hit that certain thing, that, that size or the dress or, or the number, and what we want to do is switch it. So instead of outcomes to processes to identity, we want to switch it around and we want to start with the identity. You know, what would a healthy mindsetted person do? And then you do it because we don't feel like going for a run. We don't feel like necessarily cooking a bunch of food necessarily. I mean, sometimes you will want to do these things, but not every time. But habits are built over time, whether you want to do them or not. You know, your identity drives whether you feel like it or not. You don't feel like putting on your shoes and going out for a walk when it's 30 degrees out. Uh, but your identity of being someone who takes care of themselves, a lot of self-nurturing and love, and just, you know, when we, when, when we care for ourselves, we can just show up better in the rest of the world. And this is, this is really at the core of, of the, the shifts that we're looking to do because this is long-term, this is forever. Debbie and I wanna coach you out of always thinking about the diet mentality and always thinking that we're not there yet because we're always, we're just getting better and better and better iteratively at a time, 1% every day gets us to a really beautiful place. Um, so we wanna start on who we really wanna be. So the, the exercise of actually writing down all of our identities, if you wrote down um, some identities that you um, feel like you attach yourself to, like being lazy or fat or um, you know unmotivated, we want to look and deconstruct that if we need to, or and or look at what you want instead. How do you want to feel? How do you want to show up? How do you want to be seen? Another really really good exercise is writing your eulogy, and that's again another video idea. But the idea is, you know, how do you how do you want to show up and be seen? You know, what what whether it's seen by just you and your family or it in in the social with your with your neighbor and and the rest of the community um i think that's all i wanted to say it's a big subject and a big mindset shift but once we get our head wrapped around this really deep core identity and keep going back to what what is it why am I doing all this? What's the identity? And maybe it's a core value is another for, for myself, a core value would be what is a growth mindset person? What would they do? And sometimes it's laying on the couch and watching Netflix. <laughs> you know, sometimes that's what it is. It's not all about being per perfect and willpower and being right or wrong or good or bad. It's not about that. It's about just keep going back you know, taking all this data and going back to the center and seeing how that lands for you. So 
hopefully that's a little bit deeper dive into identity, a little bit clearer, perhaps just hearing it a second time in a little bit different way can help motivate you. So we look forward to getting some feedback on how this lands for you and what's next. Thanks.